during the QA portion of the closing keynote conversation with D. Reese at the Film Independent Forum, an aspiring filmmaker stepped up to the microphone and, through tears, expressed gratitude to the acclaimed director for being a black lesbian director that others can look up to. After pouring her heart out to the filmmaker, she asked, Will you be my mentor? Genuinely touched, Reese was gracious for her kind words and smiled, Well, now I have to say yes in front of all these people. But she kept to her word referring her to a mentor program by Cassie and Elwes and saying that she already has two mentees, but assured her that she can come on the set of her next film. Reese's answer to the aspiring young filmmaker reflects her work in that it feels grounded, genuine, and comes from a personal place. Focus features as Reese talked to film independent president Josh Welsh about her filmmaking career, there's a sense of modesty and humility. Anchored by her outstanding talent and vision, she has three distinct benchmarks that mark a trajectory that filmmakers dream of. Her first feature, Pariah starring at Aparo Odai was very personal for her. It was after she quit her job in marketing and brand management and when she came out. My parents thought I was having a nervous breakdown, she said. Pariah was a response to what was going on in her life at the time. The project was written as a feature for her thesis at NYU but was first made into a short that was praised on the festival circuit. Soon after, it was sculpted into a full-length feature. She said the black lesbian coming-of-age story was made on layaway. When it arrived on the scene at Sundance in 2011, focus features picked it up. To many in the industry, the film WASNT exactly marketable as it was followed the story of a black lesbian and was called Pariah. Even so, Reese stood by her work while working with Focus James Seamus and he supported it. It's important to pick good producers to work creatively, she says of choosing people to work with. The film ended up winning her the John Cassavetes Award at the Independent Spirit Awards in 2012. Pariah opened more doors for Reese. She worked struck a blind script deal with Focus where she wrote a script about a lesbian detective, which was never put into development as well as some TV work. She wrote a pilot called The Ville about her hometown of Nashville, but was never picked up. They said no one wanted a show about Nashville, Reese said about the pilot. A year later Nashville came out. HBO she stayed in the TV lane and wrote and directed the HBO movie Bessie about the legendary blues performer. Starring Queen Latifah, Reese was drawn to the story of not only Bessie, but Maharani and queer black women who knew their sexuality and self. She adds, I wanted to use fame and the material to explore loneliness. Reese points out one defining scene where Latifah is staring in the mirror naked, a scene where Reese calls it an interrogation of self. I care about subtext, said Reese. If you get that right, the text will flow. When the script for Reese's upcoming film Mudbound first crossed her desk, she was skeptical. I usually hate every script I read, but I loved this one, she admitted. I liked the internal monologues of the characters based on the novel by Hilary Jordan, Mud Boy and tells the story of two families pitted against one another by a ruthless social hierarchy, yet bound together by the shared farmland of the Mississippi Delta. Producer Cassian Elwes brought it to her and said, It's yours if you want it. It was the first time that this kind of opportunity was presented to Reese so she wasted no time. Netflix I jumped at it, said Reese. It made me dig into my own personal story and explore this dark symbiosis between two families. The film, which stars Carrie Mulligan, Garrett Hedlund, Mary J. Blige, Jason Mitchell, Jason Clark, Rob Morgan, and Jonathan Banks, not only tells an epic story with Reese's signature intimate filmmaking but continues her track record as an actor's director. I love ensemble casts, she said. I love actors, that's the thing I gravitate towards. The film, which will be released on November 17, premiered at Sundance earlier this year and was acquired by Netflix for $12.50 and it is also has award season buzz surrounding it, all of which speaks to Reese's enormous, yet modest talent.